Hello YouTube, welcome back to part 3 of my Sensible Water Soccer playthroughs. Uh, this one is one of those ones where the football had finished and I decided to have the audio going in the background now. I'm not sure if you can actually hear that or not, it's quite, it's quite low on my speakers but I have got them on my tunnel speakers. So in terms of stuff that I'd done, I don't think I'd actually got anybody new in at this point because I didn't have anybody available. So. Sean Blatt's probably two to three games away from returning and um, obviously Dave Mooney's still out for a little while so this is obviously I was just um, I believe I'm showing uh, that all the teams this is this is how much effort people actually put into this game you know every team and every player has been renamed to their new teams new stats everything's been completely redone so here we go this is the actual sounds that you have during the game it's just the crowd the crowd sound effects and the ball kicking and things like that so Leighton Orient versus Coventry, uh, straight in, just BAM, you know. Yep, Simon Church getting booked. There we go, good job sir, good job. Um, so I'll carry on from the conversation I had last time, which was about um, my, my problems with, not necessarily a problem with the game, it's just an aesthetic change to the game, the look of the game. Um, the game looks quite good, you know, if you look, the crowd actually look quite cool. Obviously that's not what you'd see at Coventry's ground. I don't think they actually have a three-tier stadium, but whatever. Or a three-tier stand, I should say, not necessarily a stadium, because you can quite easily have a three-tier stand, and but not a three-tier stadium. Um, and they score almost immediately, that's a man set. Um, again, I don't really know too much about the Coventry players. I'm not too sure if he's still playing for them, or they've, they've uh, like sold him on, or whatever, you know, over, the, um, over the Christmas period, or whatever. Uh, but, yeah. Um, in the game... When you start the game at the very start, it will say season 1996-1997, when it's actually not. It's the teams of 2013-2014 season. It'd be nice if that aesthetic could be changed and it could be a 20-year season from 2013-2014. Uh, that would be pretty cool if they could just change those numbers. That'd be, that, that Again, it's just an aesthetic change. It won't actually change any of the gameplay or anything like that. It doesn't make a great deal of difference. You could obviously just imagine that is when it, the players are from the 2013-2014 season so you could just say it is and Simon Church with a fantastic goal there great control going into the into the, the just, the, just on the edge of the box and just boom lovely jubbly but that's what you get for, for a five finisher which is very good now what what these stats actually mean for the game uh, obviously speedy speed how fast you guys will run uh, you've got tackling, which is obviously how good your players are tackling on a stand or um, obviously with sliding tackles. You've got V, which is velocity of shot or shot power. I, I, you know, most players or most people would refer to it as shot power. This basically determines how fast the ball will travel from long distance. So if you've got a high uh, velocity, you can actually make shots from outside the box and it will be basically quicker and more powerful which means it will travel faster and obviously make it higher, highly likely you will score a goal from outside the box uh, that is V which is obviously velocity uh, then you've got um, passing which is obviously how well you pass and stuff like that control C which is how well you control the ball if you'll notice that basically some players when they run with the ball the ball is slightly ahead of them so if you turn away um, there's an injured player there that's, that's probably that's probably less than that. Oh, it's this my new guy. Helgby. First game. Boom. Injured. Um, so basically, if the ball, you'll see the ball is just slightly in front of them. So if they turn away, the ball will actually run away from you. Um, and that's basically what made the game really, really challenging for me, especially as a youngster. Is you, 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 you're so used to playing things like FIFA where the ball sticks to your feet. And you've got no... Like, if you turn, you turn with the ball. In this game, you don't. You know, if you haven't got full control of the ball um, and you try to turn you will lose that ball it's as simple as that and the ball will run away from you like ah, how's it a scoring chance no but there's not much you can do about it you know you just rage and um, and yeah so like the, the way you do it is, is before you lose control of the ball and, yet, and obviously the, that, that determines on your control value before you lose control you would um, <laughs> you would you would make sure um, that you've got either got rid of the ball or or you've taken a shot or something like that so yeah, at least with in this way, you know, if I'm doing like this, you know, some games I'll absolutely thrash the computer, and then in others the computer would just hold me back, or you know, I'd get really bad run of luck, and two or three players will go down injured, and 
by half time I've, I've subbed on my very very poor bench and I just don't have the pace to score and it'll end up with a nil nil draw or a one one draw depending on uh, depending on circumstance uh, whereas at least with a computer playing I'm on an even kill I'm on an even footing with the computer so 65 minutes bring on um, bring on the new guy or Gouffron and see how we get on I was hoping that he'd maybe he'd score a goal uh, just like he did in the, in the other game and maybe increase his stats because obviously the more they play the more their stats change the, the better they'll be um, in the long run so there's um, Elliot Ozumu down and I think I'm going to have to sub on the right winger I believe I do there we go sub the right winger on now the best the definitely definitely best way to play the game is to sub out injured players immediately if they play for too long they'll be injured for longer than they should be um, the way that the the way that the um, that's actually quite a good shot that I'm lucky I had a good chance going in that the way that the injury rolls are kind of are kind of determined it's almost like playing things like Blood Bowl where you run like an armor value versus like you know you roll an armor value versus your injury table and, and if you get like a, a one on the injury table you, you're on like a season long season long um, uh, you know, injury that's that's determined by a black and white cross so, so it's a white cross with a black background which means you're out for the season at the beginning of every season um, all player injuries are reset to standard and obviously you'll get your your value changes and you'll get uh, things like that you know value changes stat stats will increase or decrease depending on different circumstances and that was a wasted throw on and cross um, he tried to cross field pass and he booted off the pitch. Good job, sir. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how it's determined. And sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll get the uh, say the you you, you roll you roll a one on the injury table and then you roll a five or a six and uh, you'll get a knock. Now that knock can last between one and three or maybe even four games depending on the actual player itself and that's a great goal for Kevin Lisby. Last minute, look at that, 87th minute. Get in there Kevin Lisby. Top man for the club. Get in there. Top, top man. Thank you very much and I think we're going to walk away with a win here to be honest. Yes, get in now. So good win, good win. Um, so as you can see, we actually probably will we will have another game in this in this segment. I think that's probably the best option. It, it's in those first couple of games. The first one was like, like 15 minutes long because obviously I was I was running through a few things with the game and showing you the different player setups and all that good stuff and making transfers. Whereas now I don't have the money to make transfers, so I've just got to do the best I can. Sean bets off the injury list, so we get him on. We'll get um, either Marvin Bartley or we'll get um, uh, Moses Odebagio in for Elliot Azumu, maybe. No, we're taking Carl Stock off. Um, Last amount of Bartley. I think we're going to go Bartley actually. It's probably the better option because last amount is the C CSV control, speed, and velocity. And Marvin Bartley is actually a shot header tackle. So uh, that's basically what those stats say. So, St so Elliot Azumu STP is, uh, is speed tackling passing. Uh, Gareth Hooper is tackling speed passing. But he may be like one, let's say two tackling, one speed, and one passing. It could even be like one tackling, zero speed, zero passing. Uh, but he's, um, yeah, if, if that makes sense to you, that, that's how they would do it. They just basically randomly select three skills uh, that are on the list. So say if you had, you know, control, passing, speed, and velocity all at one, it would randomly pick two of those that are the best if you know what I mean but you just randomly pick two of those as their best stat but they actually do have extra stats on top so you may have like a, a player with like say that um, that Fenhurst may have like two speed one one control one velocity one tackling one passing but it's just randomly selected control and velocity as his stats uh, doesn't mean that he's any better than any, anywhere else. That's where the um, the the player database is very very good for, for those sort of things. So definitely worth putting that out. 
Now, myself personally, as a as a player and you know as a lover of football games and things like that, you know, I've played my FIFAs, I've played I've played Pro Evo, I've played um, sensible world soccer, I've played many many different football games. Now, you know, I do love the 3D football games like the like the FIFAs and the Pro Evos, but I find them they, they get very boring very very quickly. You know, there's certain players that are so so overpowered on the game that if you if you play against a team that has said player in it, you're usually going to get absolutely roasted um, because they're just too good. Whereas at least with Sensible World of Soccer, you're always on an even kill. If you're playing computer, if you're playing uh, another player, you know, sometimes like this, this, this again, uh, Simon Church, top man. Um, with the new pack that you get with the Sensible World of Soccer, the Mega Pack you actually get the ability to play the game online against other players. Uh, now, in terms of lag and problems and issues like that, there are some, um, but sometimes that, that can be um, that can be overlooked because, uh, you know, look how quickly the game plays. You know, I mean, it, it's so, it plays so, so quickly. You know, the ball is moving around faster than, than you can probably react to it. But some players, like, if you... If you go and watch some of the, the best of the 2011-2012 seasons for some of the Sensible World of Soccer campaigns that some players have had in tournaments and things like that over the years, you see some of their goals and they're fantastic, absolutely brilliant goals, um, especially for this game. Like Once you start playing this game and you find out how hard the controls really are, um, you, under you can then understand just how good some of these players can be. That's why, again, I, that's why I say I'm an average player at best. Um, I can't do any of those super goals like the, the super headers and and things like that because well, to be honest with you I don't really know how to do them <laughs> so I just don't um, and there goes one of the players on the ground get up get the ball long son there's a good boy first half's over 1-0 good result I don't think there's any injuries. So you can actually play this online. And I believe there are league matches online. Um, injured midfielder there. It's probably going to be... Um, I said Dean Cox, I think. Is, is the injured party member right there? Yep, there we go. Dean Cox. Uh, so I'm probably going to sub him off. I would have said I would have subbed him off for someone like... Um, Moses Odebejo or someone like that. That's probably the option that I would have taken, especially with Sean Batts now on the pitch. And I'm quite surprised, really, because Moses was very good at the end of last season. He's been very good this season. But statistically, they they rate him quite poorly, really. You know, he's a very, very quick midfielder. But yet they gave him something silly like a like three for speed or two for speed and control is like five or four or something like that it was really really poor stats but I can kind of understand um, you know at the beginning of the season he was kind of unknown but he wasn't unknown enough to not know how good like how good his speed is because he's a very very quick player he's not he's not slow whatsoever so sometimes I sort of I look at the stats and I think you know, what why is he so why is he this why is he that you know one thing they did on the game as well is they put um, Roman. Uh, how can I forget his name? How can I forget his name? He's a fantastic player. Roman. <laughs> oh dear. I'll see his name pop up in a second and I'll remember it. It's about me. You know, is he actually on? Because I've got Helgen on. Vance a lot, that's the one. Vance a lot. He is a great player. He's a very, very good player. Very good buy for the club. Uh, when we picked him up on a free. And very pleased we've got him to be honest because he's a very very good player uh, but they put him on the bench and when you look at his stats on the database he's actually better than both the players that they start the game with and you know straight away you go well why have they why have they put him on there you know what I mean 
So, first thing I did as soon as I started the game was Roman Vance a lot. So, on you go, son. Done. You know what I mean? So, just check and see if there's any injured players. None. It's, all, it's definitely worth checking every time the ball goes off the pitch to, if there's any injured players because you want to get them off as soon as possible. So, I couldn't highly recommend that enough. That you want to you wanna get people checked every time. Pretty much here, I know no one's gone down because there's been no tackles. It just went off from the goal kick, pretty much. So, but you'll know normally when there's someone injured because they'll be rolling on the floor holding the leg. And um, depending on what happens, oh, my, my mouse is sitting there on the screen and everything. That is probably a really silly idea. I shouldn't have done that. I should have the mouse off to one side. But so we've got um, Simon Church one nil to the O's. And there's the statistics if you wanted to see them. Coming to the end of the video. Already at top of the league, four in four. Showing the club, club's balance. You know, I've just burnt out all my gold, all my gold, my money. Um, and that's pretty much it. So that's game three and four. Um, part number three of Sensible Water Soccer playthrough with Leighton Orient. And. Yes, so thank you very much for watching. As always, I'll see you next.